Agent McIntosh, thank you for waiting. It's fine. What is this all about? It's come to our attention that two of your men have recently stolen government secrets and are planning to sell them to the black market dealer named Arbiter. Yeah, I'm well aware that both Agents Maruka and Strashkin have stolen secrets about the Icarus system, the Responder program, and some of our experimental Warthog plans. And how are you handling the situation? I'm sending the res- Let me cut you off there. While I appreciate all the Responder program is doing for the government, he's unstable and uncontrollable, judging by both mission reports and footage. Instead, I suggest we go with a more careful approach and eliminate more than one problem. What do you have in mind? There's an agent in the intelligence field that has been coming up in the world. Problem is, he's getting too close to finding out about the respawner program. I suggest that we send him in on an undercover mission to assassinate both Agents Maruka and Strachkin. A completely off the books type of mission that nobody but us will know about. We'll send him in posing as another defector, have him give them some data that we can get away with leaking, and then have him join in the sale. We'll also keep him in the dark about the data that's being sold. You'll only know about the experimental Warhog plans. In that time, we'll send in your man to eliminate the two defectors, and in the process, he'll discover our mole. And he'll also eliminate him, tying up all loose ends. Ah, eliminating three birds with one swift crack to the head. Not a bad idea. Make it four birds, Macintosh. We'll also have your man eliminate this arbiter. That thing is making a name for himself, and he's becoming dangerous. He'll need to be dealt with, either if it's during the operation or at a later date. Ah, the hell kind of name is Arbiter, anyway. I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. All right, all right. One last question. Who's the undercover agent that's going in this mission? His name is Agent Cabell Richards. He works with our intelligence task force. Recently, he's taken an interest into what we've been covering up and hiding. Like all the times, your man has gone off the mission and eliminated people who did not need to be eliminated. We want him gone, so he doesn't expose us to the public. Alright, sounds good. Anything further? Yes. This is all going to be taking place up north, in the old rundown vehicle compound at High Ground. I used to know a few people who were working at high ground when it was attacked during the revolution. Shame what happened there. I heard it was hell of a base. Anyway, I'll go call my man. Anything further you need to tell me? Not at this moment. You may return to your work now, Agent McIntosh. Agent Macintosh, to what do I owe this unexpected and yet completely unwarranted displeasure? Hmm? Go clean your armor and meet me in 20 minutes. I'll send you the coordinates. We've got a new mission. <laughs> Wanted to see me, sir? Ah, uh, yes, Agent Richards. You have a new assignment. I'm being reassigned for my current assignment? Why? I'm close to finally busting the murder at the government censorship building from last week. We'll assign another agent to the case. Your new assignment is much more important. What's it about? You're going to be going undercover as a government defector. It's a completely off the books operation. You're going to be meeting up with Agents Maruka and Strachkin and trying to capture the black market dealer known as Arbiter. Once that objective is completed, 
Spectre to eliminate the two rogue agents and return back here to base with that dinosaur in tow. Eliminate Maruka and Stretchkin? Why? I can understand if it was the dinosaur, but I've worked with both of them for months. They seemed like good people who were loyal to our government. They've gone rogue and stolen data. You know our policy on traitors. They'll think that you are defecting with them and they'll trust you. You're the best man for this job. Okay, okay. I understand, but I just can't believe they defected. It just doesn't seem like them. Sometimes the people we trust the most turn out to be hiding their true alliance until their knife is already in our backs. Oh, and I've been hunting this Arbiter for months? You mean you guys finally got an audience with that alien? Yes, or at least an opportunity to catch him. This is the closest we've gotten in a very long time. We got some intel from uh, a fellow agent who is in the field. It looks like Maruka and Stretchkin have been preparing for this for quite some time and have only recently put their plan into action. They are the ones who set up the meeting. Sounds good. When do I start? I really want to catch that damn dinosaur. People he sold weapons to? They're the scum of the earth, and have attacked our government numerous times. Your pelican leaves for high ground in about an hour. You'll make contact with Agents Maruka and Strachkin. Then prepare for the deal. I'll go get my gear. Oh, and Agent Richards. We never spoke, and if anyone asks or you're caught and interrogated, you are unassisted in your investigation and we will deny any involvement in this assignment. Understood, sir. Are you sure that we're good to go through with this deal? We didn't get much information on the buyer. Yeah, sure. The buyer comes highly recommended. Well, have you seen them in person? What do they look like? I don't know. I'm sure we'd be fine. Oh, see there he is now. We are on time. So, are you the, um... Arbiter? What kind of name is an Arbiter? Do you have any identification to prove who you are? The arbiter. Well. I don't think this guy is the arbiter. Hey, I'm be going over some old cold case files, and something interesting has come up. Yeah? What have you found now? Someone's cat stuck up a tree? Or a kid's lost his tennis ball over old man Jacob's fence? <laughs> or what about the guy who thinks he's being haunted by a ghost when actually it's his cat knocking over his vases? <laughs> come on, man. Can't you take his investigating stuff seriously? I want to do some actual detective work. 
You know, like Sherlock Holmes kind of stuff, with intrigue, mystery, stuff like that. Okay, fine. What have you got? It better be good. Oh, it is. All right, go. Well, you know the reports of brutal killing sprees from over 15 years ago? I was looking into it and I found out that there have been some disappearances dating back from over 30 years ago. Hmm, sounds juicy. Go on. Well, I don't have any information on the perpetrator at the moment, but I have a guess already. This will be good. I'm all ears. Remember that story that was going around about the mysterious stranger who would just turn up randomly and unexpectedly terrorize a group of people? Surely you can't be serious. That was just a story made up to scare kids. No, no. Wait, hear me out. It's been said that he can't die. At all. Ever. Imagine if it's the same guy, going around all these different places, like a serial killer. What do you think of that? Do you see enough yet? Well, fine. I guess it's worth a look. His last known documented location was over at an abandoned government vehicle compound in High Ground. Weren't you there a while back? Uh, I don't think we should take this case. There's a reason High Ground was abandoned. Why? What happened to High Ground? Just, no. Trust me on this. Nick, listen to me. High Ground was abandoned seven years ago. It needs to be left that way. Come on. If it's been abandoned for that long, there won't be anyone around. We'll just go have a look. Check the computers that were left there. See if there's any useful data we can pull out from the hard drives. It's been seven years. If there are any pieces of tech left there, it would have been either destroyed by the weather or seized by the government. There's only one way to find out. I'll get a hornet. We're going on an adventure. I'll scope the place out. Try the other side of the main path, through those caves. Avoid line of sight to the base and stay low. Who knows who might inhabit this place now. What's legit, Rickwell? It's an abandoned vehicle compact. Just try to keep your wits about you. I don't like it here. I never have. Let's just walk up through the game. You're acting as if you're expecting trouble. You're not expecting trouble, are you? Well, let's just say I left this place under circumstances I'd rather not talk about. You know, you never did tell me what happened here. What was so bad that made you want to leave? Did someone eat your cake that was in the communal fridge? I hate it when that happens. You know, I don't blame you for leaving. What? No. <laughs> Not at all. No, this was much worse. Oh, I see. Did you clog the toilet? You're the one telling me to be serious before. Now you're the one cracking jokes? I'm just trying to lighten up the mood. You seem tense. I don't like seeing you tense. It makes me tense. What happened here before was just traumatic, and the less I talk about it, the better. Okay, fine. The data room's just through here. Now what? Expecting a room full of pieces of paper tacked to the wall with some red string joining them all together? Not at all. Although, I do know someone who does that. Have a look at this computer. It's in quite a good condition. I might be able to pull some data off it. Weird. I was expecting this place to be more run down and derelict. Seems like someone has been doing repairs since it was deserted. Ooh, I think we found some good stuff here. Well, I say good. Most of the contents on the hard drive are corrupt, and there's only a small amount of uncorrupted data left. Just hurry up, will you? The sooner we leave this place, the better. You can't rush these things. It's a delicate process. I'd rush it with a hammer. Straight to the damn thing. That would be as helpful as a back pocket on a shirt, dude. <laughs> I see your point. I'll go check the next room, see if there's anything of value. Be careful. I'll just be in the next room over. Have you found anything interesting yet? Please say yes. I'm afraid not. The word for longer reappears a few times, but it doesn't mean much to me. Does it stand for something? I wonder if I can run a translate program. Can't say I've heard of it. Anything else? Nope. That's it. Anything your end? Incriminating documents, dreaded bank statements, or some new syringes. Anything? Nope. Just some empty supply crates. There's some used med kits in here, but that's about it. Doesn't seem like much yet. Cabal? You okay? Cabal? Been screwing around? Cabal? Cabal?
Wait, who are you? Some have called me different names before, and while that is all well and good, I would much rather prefer the Respawner. It's got a certain air of mystery around it, which makes it quite appealing. Let him go! He hasn't done anything to you! Oh, on the contrary! Has he not told you what's happened here all those long and dreary years ago? In fact, there were seven years between our last encounter. I don't... No, he hasn't. Fantastic! In that case, I might as well fill in all the details. Don't! He doesn't need to. Say another word and the wall behind you will be covered in brain matter pink. Understand? What? No! Here is the situation. You will cease your little investigation here, and you will never return to this place ever again. For your own safety and for that of your friend here, you will go now. I will look after Cabell for the time being, for we have some unfinished business to address. Isn't that right? Well... Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Gun, brain, chunks, splatter. Remember? Cabell, what business is he talking about? Never you mind. Now leave, as you no longer have any business here. With Cabell gone, I suppose there's only one man who can help me now. Dennis! Arbiter! Nick? Mate, I haven't seen you in years. What's poppin'? I need your help, Arbiter. Cabell's been taken hostage. That's some bad news. Any idea who took him? You have to believe me when I tell you. Like, I think it was a respawner. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. The respawner is nothing but a myth, a legend, a wives' tale at best. You're crazy, Nick. I'm not getting involved with any funny business you've got going on. Arbiter, please, I need your help. You're the only one with the know-how and the firepower to take down this guy. I don't know about that. Don't tell me that Dennis, the Arbiter Kakowski, is going to step down from a fight. You're the biggest, baddest alien in these parts. Oh, no, you didn't. No, 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 no way. Don't put this on me, man. Arbiter, don't make me beg. Please. Okay, okay, fine. You've got a deal. What do you know about the Respawner? Look, from what I was told, he's a myth. A legend. A man who just could not die. Every time he died, he'd just come back somehow. Some say that he was a good man once, and lived peacefully in the Valhalla. When he discovered that he couldn't die, he turned to solitude in fear of becoming a murderer. Really? Well, that's one theory. Others have said that he's a clone, and when he dies, a new clone takes his place. I've also heard that he is a god, striking vengeance on those unworthy. What do you believe is the truth? Personally, I think he's government property. Now, you know that I'm a big fan of conspiracies regarding a government. Would you like to see my wall of paper and red string? Uh, no thanks. I've seen it before. Oh. Eh, several times. Well, in that case, hear me out here. All of the attacks from the past 50 years or so were on corrupt cops, Drug dealers, black market merchants, crime gang kingpins, you name it. Some have gone missing, while others, well, you've seen the media bulletin reports. You mean those public hangings were done by the respawner? Well, short answer, probably. Long answer, well, I would bet my business on it. But those are just random attacks. The media bulletins never released the fact that they were criminals. As you know. All media must go through the government censorship building after the revolution 52 years ago. That's why they want to eradicate all the crime gangs. They know too much. What does this have to do with High Ground? That deal in High Ground, seven years ago. That was supposed to be my deal. I've branched out from black market weapons to sell vehicles also. It's a booming business at the moment. My hornet broke down when the left thruster bearing seized up, so I needed to call my good friend Milo, a, a pilot, to come pick me up. By the time I eventually got to high ground, everyone was dead. What? I was told that three government defectors were to broker the deal. Uh, there were three bodies when I got there, two of which matched their descriptions, where the other I've never seen before. 
and this dead body at high ground was a respawner. Hey, I just saw the katana, and I legged it out of there, man. I didn't want to take my chances. For all I know, he could have gotten right back up there and then. Can we wrap this up, please? Right, sorry, I ramble, I ramble. Throughout my dealings, I've heard whispers and rumors of the respawner. I never believed it, until different reports started detailing the exact same thing. A few key words came up every time. They included Katana and Hayabusa. I figured it was just some dumbass vigilante going around, thinking it was Batman. But then it started killing civilians. But they never mentioned that some killings were civilians. They never mentioned they were criminals either. It was always assumed that they were. It's interesting how much you can get away with when you're the one making a story. Why would they do that? My guess would be to cover up the fact that something went wrong with the respawner. Having your most prized asset murder civilians would not be good publicity, now would it? How does it keep coming back, though? You never explain that part. Am I expected to know everything? All I know, he's got the same voice, the same personality, and the same way of doing things as each previous incarnation. And that's all from field reports alone. Wait. Cabell must have been the high ground, seven years ago. He never told me that he was defected from the government. He worked there for years. He was always loyal to the party. Cabell must have been the one that killed the respawner. And now that he's find him, we need to hurry. You don't know where he has taken him. And how are you expecting to get there? Does the name Valanga mean anything to you? I remember seeing it on the computer screen in the high ground several times. Valanga. Now there's a name I haven't heard in a long time. I think I did a deal with some gamblers there once. Slimy little bastards they were too. Are you sure you want to go there? Even if the responder is there, what are you going to do? Kill him? He'll end up just coming back, except this time he will be after you instead. I have to get to Cabal. And Valanga is the only lead I have so far. I'm going to have to take the chance. By the way, Milo isn't around, is he? Someone called. How long have you been back there? You know I like hearing the respawner story. You better not have messed my paper and red string again. Relax. I haven't touched it. Good. Much. God damn it, Milo. Arbiter, aren't you going to introduce me? Oh, right, yes. Milo, this is Nick Alto. Private detective and kicker of asses. He's also got a memory to put an elephant to shame. Idetic, Arbiter. It's an eidetic memory. Whatever. Nick, this is Milo Lambert Watkins. Best pilot I've ever had. And, for the right price, he can emergency evacuate from any situation. Yeah, pleasure. Can we go now? We don't have much time. Right. This should be a good enough place. It's as cold as every other place here. Shut up. You will speak only when spoken to. I was spoken to. Ow! I wasn't speaking to you then. Ergo, there was no need for you to speak. But you're talking to me now. I am being spoken to so I can talk. God damn it! You will learn in time to respect your superiors. Now I will ask the questions and you will answer truthfully. Falsify your answer and your foot will be the least of your problems. Understand? Yes. Right. Why were you at high ground? Your presence went against my intel, and my intel is never incorrect. I... Answer! I was supposed to be a mole. A mole? I worked intelligence for the government at the time. I got word that plans for a new warthog were being sold off. I took it upon myself to investigate. What were you going to do when the deal was done? Well, kill the buyer. That is, of course, after questioning him, obviously. Why was it not on official government channels? A covert operation such as the one you're describing would have been documented. It was off the books completely. I wanted to keep my ass covered at all costs. I couldn't risk the government finding out. So you're a traitor to the party and the government? Well, not exactly. I wanted to interrogate the buyer to find out if I could get a list of contacts and get a foothold in the black market rings. Why were you not with the other two when I arrived at high ground? My intel had the buyer confirmed as an alien, in a lead to be precise. When I saw you walking up to the gate, I left. After hearing reports of what had been done to other criminal deals in the past, I put two and two together and figured out that you must be the responder. 
You are a clever one. I'll give you that. But your mistake was that you didn't leave when you had the chance. Ah, oh, I hear we have company. No doubt your friend from high ground. Hmm, who was it? Nick Alto, that's it. I remember now. I did my research on you. You and him started your little private investigation firm. And now your past has caught up with you, and you're in way out of your depth. I will check outside for a moment. Don't try to move with that foot of yours. Looks awfully painful. Officer, you never told me this place was so cold. You never asked. I'm going to have to drop you here in soon, folks. The snow is icing up the wings, and if I can't move my thrusters, this bird will go straight down. Here will be fine. Thanks, Marlo. Stick around. Hopefully we'll be back soon. No can't do, my friend. I've already got 80% icing on the fuselage. I need to go and warm up. I will return, though. Fine, let's do this. Arbiter, stay back and give me some cover with your rifle. PC should show two people in this cave. It should be Cabell and Respawner. I've got your back, Nick. Go get him. Cabell, no! To be fair, he should have seen it coming when he stabbed me in the gut. I see you brought a friend with you! Oh, easy now, bastard! He'll be back. Uh, somewhere. What's next? I could go for a drink. No. If what I think is correct, we need to go for the government. This bastard is like a lizard. Cut the tail off, it grows back. Cut the head off, well, then it dies completely. Well, that's our plan. Walk through the front door and kill everything. That won't work. Will it? We'll head back to my shack, and then go from there. Mm -hmm.